Hello everybody, we're looking today at another survivor guide. We're looking at Hunter Kelly. She's one of the four hunters currently available, and I think she's one of the best. At first, I thought she was a little weak, but as I started leveling her, man, her damage really started to show through, and she has some really cool tricks with her ability and some of the perks that kind of help abuse that ability. So let's go into the guide, but before we do, I ask that you subscribe to the channel. We got plenty more Evil Dead the Game content coming, as well as a whole backlog of Evil Dead the Game content. So subscribe to the video and hit that bell notification because we have more videos coming up this week covering Evil Dead the Game. So let's get to the guide. So just a brief overview of the Kelly character. Uh, her normal Q ability is an activated ability and you dodge without using stamina and your range attacks cause a bleed damage to your opponent for a short period of time. So what's really cool about that is it gives you a lot of elusiveness in the thick of the battle and you can dodge very often and get some nice shots in as well as that bleed damage. So if you're not familiar with the word bleed phrasing, that's just damage over time. So you'll deal damage and then they'll take ticks of damage over time while they're kind of recovering from that shot. Her next ability is her Weapon Master, which is a meat hammer. I'm pretty sure that's uh, calling back to the show. I have not seen season three, so I might be a little out of the lore. Uh, but uh, that's her Weapon ma uh, Meat Hammer. And you might be thinking, well, she's a hunter. She does rage ranged attacks. Why would she have a Weapon Master for a melee weapon? Well, as you can see with some of the abilities below, it's going to become more apparent that there's more to this meat hammer than just uh, than just putting it in there for fun. So the next one is counter shot. So your next range attack after successful dodge inflicts bleeding damage on your target for a short time. This actually adds to a successful dodge. So this would go in conjunction with her Q. So even when the Q isn't active, but it's only a 5% per second. And then her level 25 skill is Battle Frenzy. Your melee damage increases the longer you're in sustained combat and you get an extra 2% per second while you're in combat, which is very interesting, especially with the Meat Hammer. It's a very quick weapon. It doesn't do a lot of damage, but if you can get a rare or an epic Meat Hammer, you're really going to be dishing out the damage in close, close proximities, mainly around those objectives or the final demons in the final book. So definitely keep an eye out on these. Do not sleep on the Meat Hammer. It's not a throwaway. It's very useful. Often your team doesn't want Meat Hammers, so it's a win-win for everybody. You want the meat hammer, they don't. It's even better for you. Just make sure you're picking up your meat hammer as your main melee weapon, even if it's a common. So let's go to the point breakdown. So first we're getting to the long shot. Uh, again, I don't really care for this. The hunter role I think is a mid-range role, but even more so with Kelly, you're gonna be wanna be up close and personal to get that melee bonus, plus the dodge. You're gonna be quick dodging and doing some shots. So. Let's look at what else. Uh, hollow points, she's primarily ranged, so you're gonna get that flat 25% range damage. That's always great. Uh, stopping power, we're basically using these as a means to an end. Uh, balance bar, 10%. Uh, then firm grip, reduce the recoil of ranged weapons. That's something I could see putting a point into if you're uh, not familiar with shooting very quickly, but this is a flex spot for sure for me. And then four, you should always be trying to go for those headshots. You get mega damage. That 25% bonus is always going to be helpful. So I always throw four points in this one. Next is that flat fear. Uh, this is a must on most of my builds, if not all of them. I think as a hunter, sometimes you go ahead of the pack or kind of go off on your own a little bit sometimes when you're scouting for goods. So you definitely want to have all the weapons you can against fear. That way, in case you are getting singled out by the demon, you have a chance to kind of get away. You have a chance to control your fear and you don't get controlled and kind of wipe out your team if you're in a bad spot. Because if you have a powerful weapon and the demon takes you in a crowd of your friends, they might end up getting killed by you. So you want to make sure when you're playing Hunter, you want to focus on that fear very, very carefully. You need to make sure your fear is low at all times. Uh, in conjunction with that, I'm moving on to I Ain't Afraid of No Trap. I like tw two points in this because it's 25 and it reduces the amount of fear wherever you trip a demon trap. So again, this manages fear. This really helps when you're on your own because if you trip a trap by yourself and the demon starts focusing you, it at least gives you a little bit more leeway to kind of get away back to your friends. So make sure 
Uh, if you are going to be going solo, you, you focus on some more fear reduction than you normally would. Down here, staying power is the next next section. Staying power is reduce your maximum stamina by 25%. Again, this is very important for all hunters. If you're going to be doing a lot of running, dodging, all that good stuff, 25% is huge. Down here to get to the end, artful dodge reduces the stamina cost to dodging is 15%. I don't think this is as important as uh, some others might put stock into, mainly because we're trying to be using our Q as much as possible. And when we have our Q active, our dodges don't take stamina. So we don't really care too much if our stamina is reduced outside of the Q, if that makes sense. Next is deadly up close. Uh, I have two points in this just because I had a spare point to give. I feel like you could do a deadly up close or you could go up to firm grip. Uh, I might toy with one, but as of right now, I like deadly up close because it deals damage. That's always better to me. So I have a, two points in deadly up close and then I have one in last chance. Uh, typically, I'm using shotguns, revolvers, pistols. So the last chance is not one I took much care about because you're really only going to see benefits when there's four points and i feel like that's way too much of an investment for something you're not actually going to use all the time and then i have two points in quick cooldown that's 10 percent reduction on your active skill which is her dodge um and i think you want to be abusing that as much as possible it makes everything around you better it makes your groups better and I think you should be uh, using that cooldown as quick as possible. So that's my guide for Kelly. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. I'm really enjoying the survivor role. I'm enjoying the game in general. If there's any survivors you'd like to see a guide for next, let me know in the comments. I'm working towards them all. I think we're going to be looking towards a Henry or maybe a Ash versus Evil Dead leader guide next. So if you're interested in those, please subscribe to the channel. They're on their way. And we also have some gameplay videos coming up later this week. So keep a lookout for those. And thanks for watching.